Sam, a very spirited performance from your lads out there. You, you must be very proud of them, actually, because, you know, it was a tough place to come. A big stadium as well to come to as well, but they, they didn't let that get to them and they did show they did put a good performance out there, didn't they? Yeah, we're all ever so proud. I think, you know, in the in the, in the the short circumstance of, of, of the travel, taking a little bit longer than it should have, you know, had to pretty much get off the bus, get in their kit and, and play. I was ever so proud of how they... Um, you know, got off the bus and warmed up ever so quickly, got out on the pitch and, you know, they defended for their lives initially to get themselves in the game and then um, from there that was the building block to, to potentially, you know, go and attack after that. Coming to grounds like this, under the lights, you know, there was 300 people here tonight, you know, that always causes or stresses players ever so slightly in a good fashion, um, but it's always going to make sure or, or mean that nerves are going to be higher than they, you know, typically would be um, and I think the players dealt with it, you know, really positively. Yeah, let's talk about that journey because, I mean, you don't really want to talk about it, do you? But it did affect the lads a little bit. It's going too, isn't it? And when mm. it's a big occasion for them, it's not ideal. Mm. But I think they, they did show, they, it might have taken them a little bit longer to settle, but they did show, didn't they, that, you know, they've yeah. got a bit, a bit of spirit behind them out there tonight. Yeah, I think, listen, and, you know, credit to the to the team of coaches, to be fair, on the bus. They kept spirits high and ensured that the boys, you know, were only able really to focus on the now and not worry about, you know, what might happen and things like that, which was, which was really positive. Yeah, and, and well, the FA Youth Cup isn't the be all end all. You know, you've got a lot more of a season to go ahead, haven't you? So, what, what you had a nice huddle, didn't you, at full time with you and the lads? What was said in that to keep their spirits high after today? I think to anyone that's been listening to me for the last two weeks, I think um, my message has been that we're not preparing for the next seven days, five days, whatever. We're preparing for the next seven months. You know, it's been a topsy turvy last couple of weeks, um, and you know, it, it's been a case of trying to just steady the ship. Um, and also start to think about what the next seven months looks like as opposed yeah. to the next seven days. And it's, it's easy, listen, it's a huge occasion for the kids and they want to do ever so well and they play at some tremendous grounds and in front of a lot of people. But the priority always has got to be um, what the, the future looks like. And listen, if we can build on that today, um, you know, leverage any of the spirit, desire, determination, commitment to, to what I just saw on the pitch there, um, you know, it's, it's only going to be a good thing for what the rest of the season looks like in, in competitions that you know we really can compete. You know, we go into the Hampshire Cup again next week, which is something we, we currently hold. So, it's tournaments like that and the National League and, and the Isthmian that we want to really push on and you know try and, like I said, drag a little bit of that commitment and spirit out into into those games every week and ultimately um, make that our identity. Yeah, because they're obviously young, aren't they? They're mm. a young group in the academy, but mm. relatively speaking, they're, they're more first years, aren't they, in, in what's a, mm. a, a two-year age gap, isn't it? So a brilliant performance from them to, mm. to, to play against what probably was more second years in the Leighton Orient side. I think, look, you know, typically, um, typically FA Youth Cup is littered with second year players um, and things like that. What I was dead proud of our boys, and it's been for the last, you know, the two rounds prior, is that we've used, you know, I think five under 16s have joined yeah. us on the journey and got on the pitch, by the way. Um, tonight, that was a split of six or seven first years, in fact, slightly higher, eight or nine first years, and then the rest were second years. So, you know, I'm really, really proud. And what it means is we've given a, a tremendous experience to so many young players when they get their turn. You know, a couple of, you know, a lot of these lads have another year. Some of these boys have another two goes in the FA Youth Cup. So hopefully we've given them an, you know, an experience they can use um, in the future. But no, listen, very, very, very proud of every single one of them. And they'll have seen, won't they, you know, Maxi Mullin scoring in the mm. FA Cup the other week. Ashley Atpan's made a good impact. Mm. We've seen Billy Walsh and Morgan Elliott come, mm. come into the National League Cup side, haven't we? There is a pathway for mm. these young lads. Is that something you've, you've said to them? 100%. They see it every day. You know, people like Morgan and Billy and that, they're always coming down to our training sessions and, you know, talking to the boys and the boys get access to them on a daily basis. Um, and it's nice to see the pathway stuff in the sense of having the conversation. How did, you know, what did you do to get there? How did you stay there? What does it look and feel like when you're training with the first team? Um, and, you know, the same with people like Maxwell and, um, you know, Ashley. They're doing ever so well now and pushing on. And I think it's such an inspiration. And even other lads that are playing in step two, step three in the local yeah, yeah. ladder like Keane and people like that, they're out there and they're playing every week. And that's so, so powerful now for our boys to see that, you know, the manager, and he's been ever so good in that regard, is, is really trusting the young players and they can, and they, and they can genuinely have a career at all the shot down.